What have we just seen? Ooh. Man United 3-0 winners against Brighton, but it's not just the fact that we've beaten Brighton, it's the manner of the performance we've just seen there. Bruno Fernandes not with another goal, with another two goals. United with another three goals. A second clean sheet in a row after Roy Keane slammed David De Gea and Harry Maguire. United were absolutely sensational to a man tonight. Everybody was brilliant. And that third goal, well, we'll talk about that in a bit, but what a performance that was from United. And when you look at momentum and building momentum to go from Sheffield to switching eight players out for Norwich, correct decision for the FA Cup to switching eight players back in, the same start in 11, 11 out of 11, by the way, come on, baby. I mean, it was pretty obvious, but still I'm taking that. And United there went at Brighton from the start. We got an early goal. We put our foot down. We got the second. And we never really looked in too much trouble in that game. That was a, just a complete team performance. And it, it feels like it's been a long, long time since we saw that sort of performance from United. Correct me if I'm wrong there, but there was a sort of swagger and an arrogance to it all that I feel is all being inspired by Bruno Fernandes. And it really... It blows my mind the fact that United can and have been changed so much by one individual signing. But Bruno Fernandes' influence on United is just, it's almost unmanageable. Unimagin unimaginable. It really is just how much of a difference he's making to this team. That goal there from Mason Greenwood, 13 goals from the 18 year old in his breakthrough season. And to see somebody so accomplished and so composed with his finishing, that's so young, is brilliant. And that's why the Van Persie comparisons, I think, are fair and correct. Couple of step overs. Looks like he's going to go to the bottom left. Shoots it to the bottom right. Keeper has no chance. What a finish that was from him. And just all over the pitch, United were dynamic in their movements. Short triangles, big triangles, switching the play when necessary. Balls through the middle when necessary. Nemanja Matic marshalling the midfield from a deeper position. He just, no matter where you look, it was a, an 8 or a 9 or a 10 out of 10 performance from every United player. And for the second goal, Pogba selflessly passing to Bruno. Bruno getting a big deflection, it going in and both of them hugging and smiling. Pogba didn't get a goal there. So Graham Soonis is going to say it's a shit performance, but <laughs> it was not a shit performance. Pogba is seemingly happy to not, not take a... A passenger seat whilst Bruno drives, but he seems to be happy just working alongside him. It's bringing the best out of Pogba and it's bringing the best out of Bruno. And both of those together are bringing the best out of United. It was just such a coherent performance from front to back. And yes, Brighton didn't offer that much going forward and playing different teams that were better going forward is going to offer us much more in terms of a competitive game of football. But we took it to Brighton today and they had no answer. After that first five minutes, Brighton came back at us. But we went back at them again and we had the quality to finish our chances and we were clinical. And that third goal, come on. Maguire's header out, Matic's chest and pass. That was an outrageous pass from Matic. And Greenwood running down the left there. Again, composure, head up. Dan James, unfortunately, in that situation would not have got his head up to look. Bruno Fernandes puts his hand up at the back stick, dinked across to him. Can Bruno finish? Of course he can finish. Another two goals, six goals and four assists for him. No Premier League player has contributed to more goals at all in the Premier League since Bruno has joined in January. It's hard not to get excited about what we saw there and what we're seeing. Because I did think that the, that the break from the coronavirus gave United more of an opportunity than most because it allowed Popper to come back. It allowed Bruno to settle a bit more in his new surroundings in United for his other players and his teammates to get used to him a little bit more in training when they came back for Rashford to come back from injury, who hasn't looked as sharp, but when you've got Martial scoring hat-tricks and Fernandez scoring two, two goals, it doesn't really matter, does it? United there, you know, I think what we saw, something we have to say is when he took Popper and Fernandez off and he brought Pereira and he brought Matomane on and he brought Dan James on for Greenwood, the quality dropped substantially and there were two or three chances where if the players that were on in the first half were there and it wasn't James and McTominay or Pereira, we probably would have got more goals. There's clearly a, a massive divide between the quality of our starting eleven and the quality of the squad as a whole. That needs to be improved in the long run. But as a, as a first team, our starting eleven there is now set. Mason Greenwood cannot be dropped. He's starting right wing every single week. He is fit. 
and Martial and Rashford complete that front three, which is dynamic, it moves, they switch, very hard to defend against. And Mason Greenwood, try and make him cut on his right side, he can score three kicks with his right foot, he'll score goals with his right foot. A defender's nightmare. Then you've got a midfield three of Matic, with Fernandes and, and Pogba seamlessly working together. Matic happy just being the dude that breaks it up and passes it to his teammate. That's his job, and he's very happy doing it. Fernandes and Pogba working so well together. Maguire and Lindelof, uh, not challenged much today, as I said. So I'm not going to say too much about the defence, but Luke Shaw, David De Gea making a few good saves when he needed to. But come on, people. Drop a like on this video. You have to, surely. Because that performance there, Bruno inspired it. It was an inspired, proper United performance with the sort of confidence and arrogance and swagger that you remember seeing from United. And it's not just a flash in the pan now. That's 15 games unbeaten for United, stretching way back. And it's all come around because the right player was signed. Pisses me off that Bruno wasn't signed in the summer, but let's focus on the positives, right? United looking incredible. Bruno looking incredible. What a difference he's made. Pogba, since he's come back, he seems like he fight, he knows his place in the team and playing alongside Bruno is getting the best out of him. And United right now are in their best form. I feel consistently, it, it just looks like it can get better and better. It's not just like one performance and then go the next week it's all going to go crumbling away because with Bruno in the team, he will not let those players' work ethic go down. And that's a huge aspect. United, fantastic there. Man of the match, it can't be anybody but Bruno Fernandes, but you can say that Matic was brilliant because he was. You can say probably that Pogba was brilliant as well. I think it was all in our midfield. Greenwood, oh, everybody, man. Everyone gets 10 out of 10. No, everyone gets 9 out of 10, but Bruno gets 10 out of 10. Let me know who your man of the match was and how you're feeling after that game, but that was inspired. And it looks like something is being built bit by bit. I said back in January, was it a little bit earlier than that, December, I said, look, United, if they were smart, they would make plans for Pochettino next season. And when I said those at the time, I stood by those. But then the coronavirus happened. And three months of, nobody could have expected what was going to happen. So no changes were ever going to happen at that point. And United now stuck behind Solskjaer. Maybe I was wrong to ever doubt Solskjaer, but I think the doubts are fair to have. But what we're seeing right now, what is being built, everybody's got a smile on their face. And I know you do, and I do, but 3-0, six goals in the last two Premier League games, two clean sheets, happy days. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to United People's TV if you're new, but United, bring on the next game.